let's prove the trig identity. Let's get let's get the equation on the left to look like the one on the right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just start out by writing what's up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the conjugate of the denominator and I'm gonna multi multiply that through. So one minus sine theta in this case. I'm going to multiply these out. I'm not going to do all the steps. I'm just going to write them down. So the numerators can be 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta. And the denominator is going to be 1 minus sine squared theta. Now you can rewrite the denominator as cosine squared theta as a trig property. So you bring this over here. You end up with 1 over cosine squared theta minus 2 over sine or 2 sine theta over cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And what you can do here is I'm going to take this entire equation here. I'm going to write it down over here. And what we're going to have here is we can rewrite 1 over cosine squared theta as secant squared theta minus, and our 2 sine theta, we can divide this up, so it's going to be 2, and sine over cosine, one of the cosines is going to be tangent theta, and then just 1 over cosine squared theta is equal to the secant theta, and then sine squared over cosine squared is equal to tangent squared theta, and what this whole portion can be broken down to is to two, two separate uh, Polyno well, polynomials, but uh, two separate sections. This will be secant theta minus tangent theta times secant theta minus tangent theta. And this can be rewritten as secant theta minus tangent theta squared. And that's right there how we proved our equation.